In the beginning, God said, the four-dimensional divergence of an anti-symmetric second rank tensor equals zero, and there was light. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the equation for light. Hi, Godspeed. <clears throat> Welcome to my channel. My channel is about science, astronomy, science, astrophysics. I discovered that the stars are cold, small, and close. <clears throat> but, <clears throat> so this is why I started the channel. I have a passion composing music. But beside this, I compose music for uh, good space uh, programs, missions. But in this channel, in, but this, in this video, I want to take on Michio Kaku. Michio Kaku has a more dangerous idea than you are believing. So he says that by cataloging the civilizations, that it's well known that and well accepted that the extraterrestrial exist or some rational minds. So then you catalog them or maybe like in advance our civilization by the energy he says by the energy we physicists have actually tried to describe civilization thousands millions of years ahead of us and we categorize them by energy a type one civilization is a civilization that controls planetary power they control the weather earthquakes volcanoes they can modify them anything earthbound they have the energy to control that's type one type two civilization controls the energy of the sun directly they harness the solar flares they energize the entire solar system because they control the sun that's type two uh, <clears throat> but first of all let me correct something let me correct something what he says uh, he says energy and everybody says energy, energy. They are believing that energy is everything. Like, like, but there's matter that is not energy. You cannot pull out energy from this. You cannot. So, but, but they are doing a mistake. This was energy. This was energy. But if he sees this video to understand that I am not joking, okay, this they do not have control on their vocabulary even though i speak like romanian my my it's not my english my native language but they do not have control on their vocabulary so they say but they forget that this is kinetic energy energy was kinetic and electricity it is different this is electricity this is electricity and all of them says energy, say energy, energy, energy. I'm telling you energy is kinetic energy. It's a concept that you, you make movement like this. This is a kinetic movement. This rock has a kinetic and potential energy of movement energy. It was defined like this from Greeks. In, when the energy was defined like this, they didn't knew electricity even. You understand what all is the concept of energy. So electricity and energy. And this is the first mistake. Everybody believes that it's energy, energy. So by defining, he says, I define the civilization by controlling energy. And I'm telling you what kind of energy. Kinetic energy of movement or rest potential energy of movement due to mass. So electricity is something else, but 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 this is not me, Michio Kaku uh, mistake. Everybody forget uh, that they they were philosophers like Leibniz, and they did another second way of 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 movement like force. Force is a philosophical concept, mass times acceleration, and identically kinetic energy. But what I want to tell you in this video, I don't have anything against Michio Kaku and I hope that she, he will uh, hear this even because what I have to say it is for the interest of all humanity. So, in, so he says controlling the energy, okay, and he, def he defines the uh, civilization, level one, two, controlling the energy, you see, the like potential energy or electric energy of the sun. 
uh, or a planet and then a galaxy and this is where it is more dangerous than you are believing type 3 is galactic they roam the galactic space lanes they've colonized the entire galaxy black holes stars supernovas they roam the entire galaxy now on this scale of energy what are we are we type one that control the weather, volcanoes, earthquakes? Are we type two that control solar flares and the energy of the entire sun? Are we type three that roam the galactic space lanes? No, we're type zero. I started with, with the equation, he says equation of light, but to throw another thing in, like this is one of the reasons that Einstein was wrong, I believe that he correlates space with time. You must treat them separate. But Mary, so about the time. But what I want to tell you right now, gravity, if he is hearing me, okay, gravity is not attraction. Force equal mass time takes acceleration. You put G, big G, and small g. So gravity is not attraction. So if through, not through attraction, the galaxy were formed, how they were formed. I'm telling you on short, okay? How they were, were formed, galaxies. The, the, the gravity is not attraction. It is a force, a hitting force de defined in a circle, vectorial hitting force, like this. You have a vector like this and with quantity any a circle so if if this is not attraction how these galaxies were formed and if is, this is not attraction because it says like a galactic civilization and if this is not attraction how how the galaxy was fo were formed you understand and this is in if this is not attraction why they are one near another these galaxies they invented colliding of galaxies and by interpreting wrong the 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 the, the physics they say that the force of attraction stops them but the gravity is not attraction is rotating vector in a circular uh, field so, so this could not produce that galaxy and they said that the Big Bang throw the galaxy off and the power of gravity stops them and then put the brakes and they came together like this picture and they are colliding. This is the idea. But you understand that to produce a mechanical force of collision, the gravity could not do this. It, it, you could explain this through mechanical uh, movement with force and mass movement like I, like uh, Newton movement force and mass movement but you cannot say that this is attraction or electromagnetical attraction if you are saying like this so the, the, this galaxy you cannot explain the formation you cannot explain that they are one near uh, close to another and I'm telling you why I'm explaining to you this because it is shocking what I'm telling you the galaxies are stars simply stars like cumulus of objects like this like this putting clouds putting molecular clouds our galaxy is a sphere like this and the galaxies are put in clouds of hydrogen oxygen clouds that are at the board of our galaxy So why it's more dangerous than you are believing? I'm coming to the idea, but you must follow the entire reasoning, okay? Because our galaxy was produced, so if you are understanding our galaxy is not produced through gravity. This is a whole idea that these rocks are not coagulating through gravity, if you understand. I took this piece of a concrete piece. This is a chemical boundings, chemical boundings. This is nothing uh, has to deal with gravity. If he hear me, maybe you he'll understand that I'm logical. You cannot have science without logic. So this 
they said that the planet was congealed and the stars through gravity. By interpreting in a popular way, gravity is attraction. So if I am breaking down that the gravity is not attraction, you do not have a model how the ga these galaxies were formed. And the planets, because the gravity does not do, th do this. Being gravity me be means a force or rotating force. So, so, but, I, but I'm getting there, but you must follow my reasoning, okay? So now, so now, how was the co mo uh, correct model of uh, forming our galaxy? And I'm telling you, uh, they say again that gases, gases, gases congealed in the space. Gases congealed even uh, only if they had some partner, atomical partners, some balances, uh, ionized, positive or negative. So if you have a carbon, hydrogen, four hydrogen, you can make, let's say, hydrocarbon, butane, methane, ethane, or something like this, okay? But not through gravity, through the property of atoms. So they say that these cold space are gases. And I'm telling you that gases are only on Earth. On certain pressure set conditions. In space, hydrogen and helium becomes liquid, liquid, in liquid state. And oxygen even, they put in the rockets, they fill the rockets with liquid oxygen in certain pres uh, pressures and at certain temperatures, the gases become liquids. Why I'm telling you this? Now, now you must understand how big a sphere of, of gas you, you can have, but liquefied gas, because in space, high, helium and hydrogen minus 250 degrees Celsius, and for Europe, so I'm telling you in Celsius, I'm not filming myself perpendicular, okay? I, this is the way I like, and I'm not always looking and, um, and uh, straight in the camera. And I'm saying like a T science, I have see here a black T, with me. So if you have a big sphere in space, a big sphere in space of liquid hydrogen, it will stay liquid. A, a sphere, it will gather conforming to the it's all, uh, uh, moment, minimal moment of inertia, of energy, of movement, and it will gather together, but not through gravity. So if you have, you put Put to hydrogen helium, you have a big sphere with helium, a minus cold temperature, a cold minus space temperature. And then you imagine, I put for you to visualize this water at the International Space Station. So water in, in the International Space Station stays like a sphere. You imagine like a, a big sphere like a, a galactic, one day with a speed of light sphere, 26 billion kilometers from the middle. The, so a big sphere of helium, hydrogen, oxygen, it will be liquid. You say gases, but it will be liquid, at a cold temperature it will be liquid, methane gas even. You put it in some pressure in, and you will see that it is liquid, okay, at a small pressure. So you have this sphere in your in space and you have it full of rocks. We do not know how so it is an experimental experiment, okay? You have a, a big sphere with helium, hydrogen and gases, liquid gases, okay? And inside the sphere, there are many congealed things like this, many, many pieces, many pieces like this. And I'm telling you now how the, our galaxy was formed, and I will tell you why the Michio Kaku, what he says, is more dangerous than you are believing. So now imagine this sphere could exist in all this universe that you are saying billion, trillion, billion of billion of kilometers. It could exist a big sphere of hydrogen, helium, liquid, gases, liquid, full of rocks in it. 
and metals and alloys of different types of alloys. They could be in possibility. So now imagine that these spheres become void in the center. Like I put to you this from International Space Station also, the guy blows a bubble, air bubble in the middle. The bubble stays there. So imagine now that something energizes this ball, like elect electricity, like the like electromagnetic, like in this in this sense, and and voids it inside. It pushes all the all the all the all the all the liquid hydrogen helium at the board of our galaxy, like in a membrane, like this. In, like this guy blows a bubble inside it, it voids it by everything goes there at the border at the border and inside stayed void all the rocks that were already in this cloud of gas remain suspended and I, I'm telling you this is the way where the, our galaxy was produced because that, that, that's why I have told, told you, gravity could not do this. Gravity could not congeal a body in space. Could not, because you not know, the attraction, only popular science. So, it could not produce a galaxy. But this is the correct... Uh, so now imagine, because it is, has the property of electricity, like in a thunder cloud, it produces lightning and a storm. Exactly like this, the, 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 the cloud become, become to be polarized, polarized, like ionized, ionized, ionized. And, and all the energy goes to the board of our this sphere and inside remains sus suspended, piece of rocks, that is our planets, like in, inside. And the sun, unignited yet. And then a second wave of energy was produced in this cloud that it has electricity properties and ignited all, all the pieces that were in cloud suspended, like, like this pieces, alloys pieces, alloys pieces, like this, and ignited them at once. With the, with the speed of light caning across towards all this sphere, the hydrogen, helium, oxygen, liquid, full of, with, with rocks and alloys and crystalline structures as uh, an energy came and ignited them at once and this is the correct way the production of galaxies you know if you understood by now that i'm saying that a galaxy is a sphere okay so now what is more dangerous what he is he is saying type three is galactic they roam the galactic space lanes they've colonized the entire galaxy Black holes, stars, supernovas, they roam the entire galaxy. Now on this scale of energy, what are we? Are we type one that control the weather, volcanoes, earthquakes? Are we type two that control solar flares and the energy of the entire sun? Are we type three that roam the galactic space lanes? No, we're type zero. This, this were by old times, 2000 years ago, they were saying that the angels made this. This was an old heresy by the current day. They see that extraterrestrial. Because if you understand that our galaxy it is a sphere, it is not a spiral. The, the galaxies, what they are calling galaxies at this day, are, are stars like this. Put in, put in neon gases. And they extract light from, as I've told you, that the circuit throughout our galaxy and they struck light and they are illuminated the gases they are put in and they are static pieces. So the Big Bang is false. They took on hydrogen, this guy. They do not know how it was produced and they invented that a Big Bang that to, to trick you through some atomical explosions or in the stars, the stars make fusion. To trick you because the Bible says that it made the stars to produce only light and the galaxies are stars 
that produce only light. They are like exactly like this and they ignite some noble gases that they are put in. So they are not galaxies. We can see only one galaxy, this galaxy that I've described to you. And it was produced like I, wo I was describing it. So what is more dangerous than he you are believing? The, this was an old heresy that angels were contributing to the production of the galaxy. This is an old uh, heresy that existed. And in these days they named the angels, rational beings, extraterrestrials. So they are saying that they are from some of these galaxies that I explained to you that that's only stars, cumulus of metallic objects in our galaxy that you cannot see the only one day with the speed of light. You cannot put only one day in a binocular lunette, telescope or a mirror. So, so in the old day you were saying that what Michio Kako says that they are extraterrestrials that can control the energy of the entire galaxy. Type 3 is galactic. They roam the galactic space lanes. They've colonized the entire galaxy. Black holes, stars, supernovas, they roam the entire galaxy. Now on this scale of energy, what are we? Are we type 1 that control the weather, volcanoes, earthquakes? Are we type 2 that control solar flares and the energy of the entire sun? Are we type 3 that roam the galactic space lanes? No, we're type 0. So now, now I'm telling you that I discovered that they do not know where the hydrogen, these guys, were produced and they are lying that fusing this hydrogen you obtain copper or iron in stars with pressure of, 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 of gravity pressure, that the gravity is not pressuring nothing. If you have a rotating field like centripet and centrifug force, you have gravity. So, so they are were lying to trick you that these stars are producing the metals because they do not know where they are producing and not having any science to back up, they are lying that this guy hydrogen was produced somehow by miracle and this guy were producing by fusion in stars even though we do not know how to produce light only from hydrogen. So in stars he produced metals by some mysterious fusion, atomic fusion that does not exist in science. So, so when you understand when it is will going to be discovered that our galaxy is the, like this bowl, bowl, bowl of water at the International Space Station. That was full with so many objects because this is the way the Bible describes it. The Bible does not say how the matter was produced. The Bible says in the beginning God created the heaven and earth. In the beginning, like at once, like a philosophical principle, in the beginning, at once. And then the second line in the Bible says, and the, the earth was, it was. And there was a cloud of water. A big that the, the the spirit of God was above the cloud of water, and he cut in this water through the middle, like I explained to you, and made our galaxy and ignited the stars all, all at once. I'm not saying this for the current day to understand when will they will discover that we crack like a prophecy when they will discover that we only see our galaxy and that galaxies are stars and our galaxy is a sphere void in sight and there the are clouds, they will take again on this kind of heresies that were said before this Michio Kaku says in a modern language with energy that control the sun, the planet and energy. So they were saying that they were making this because I don't know if we can go beyond this fear because 
because the clouds have 26 billion kilometers thick. Like imagine an ocean thick with 26 billion kilometers a day because in the Bible says that it cut in half and if it has a one day with the speed of light it is an, another half of clouds above the, the, the sky, above the heaven, above our galaxy. So the, the, that's why they say universe, 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 universe to trick you because we cannot see the universe. And they say that their galaxies are in the sum of or of the totality, but we cannot see only this sphere and galaxy are put in clouds of and they're small objects. Few millions of kilometers only. Small object, full of metallic and with uh, noble gases. And they extract life from the energy that it is from a pole to a pole. So you understand what it is more, why it is more dangerous, why, does, why they, I consider to do this like a prophecy. When they will find that this, because we cannot go beyond this with our current technology and maybe there will be another 100, 200, 300 years because the, the distance is big. It is 26 billion kilometers with our current technology will reach the stars in 50 years. So it's a 100 years trip way back uh, at the board of our galaxy. But our galaxy is surrounded by clouds in a night sky, like in a fog, like in a, like, a, like fumes and clouds full of, like, like I explained to you, hydrogen, helium, liquid gases, because they are not gases at the cold temperature. And there is a ionized, uh, like in a cloud and produce electromagnetic light. In a thundercloud, in lightning, you understand that hydrogen combined with oxygen in some state uh, release big energies. This is how it, uh, our galaxy is. And, and when we reach the border of the star border, you must go through clouds one day because the Bible says he cut the sky split in two. Exactly. Water above the sky and beneath the sky and this was named heaven a stronghold like Rakia and Hebrew this was named heaven so above the heaven there's still waters and 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 you we and we can go there in 50 years and maybe another 150 years to, to, to break through this cloud, like it is an ocean, imagine you take, with a dimension one day with the speed of light. And they we could be lying exactly like Michio Kaku, you understand now the whole logic of this video. They will lie exactly like Michio Kaku, like the old time said this, that the angels or some extraterrestrials did this. Because I'm explaining to you, because this is the way what our galaxy was produced, was a big sphere ball full of hydrogen clouds and oxygen clouds and helium full of rocks already. Because the uh, Bible says the earth was inside the cloud, big cloud of water and the Spirit of God was above the water. And in, him, in it produced the light and in it not the initial light that you are believing like. So, so it, it, when this will be found, this is the way and, and they could s trick the entire planet for another 100 years, 150 years, 200 years, 300 years, because, because we could not go break through this ocean, big ocean. And there will be another 100 years, like a prophecy I'm telling you, and they will lie like this. They will lie like this. That's why in the Bible says God did, did that.
Type three is galactic. They roam the galactic space lanes. They've colonized the entire galaxy. Black holes, stars, supernovas, they roam the entire galaxy. Now on this scale of energy, what are we? Are we type one that control the weather, volcanoes, earthquakes? Are we type two that control solar flares and the energy of the entire sun? Are we type three that roam the galactic space lanes? No, we're type zero.